I told you this would be horrible. Oh God! I can't even tell what any of this is. <laughs> Hopefully whatever is in here is durable. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna water cool a whole gaming PC using nothing but parts from wish.com. Do you wanna know how much all this literal garbage costs? Oh, I don't know if I really Over do. Over $1,300. It's the second most expensive PC I've ever built. What is this? <laughs> You're laughing, but it's not funny. <laughs> Unlike my segue to our sponsor, NZXT wants to make building a custom PC easier. With NZXT Build, just set a budget, See how the computer performs in your favorite games and Build takes care of the rest. Use the link below to get your own custom PC today. And it'll probably be better than this one. It will. <laughs> Even ignoring the outrageous prices, there were three main problems with trying to water cool from Wish.com. First was shipping. It took two months to the day for all these parts to arrive, and actually, that's problem number two, not all of them did. Three of the items we ordered never made it, and we ended up having to cancel them. Fortunately, sort of, Alex ended up ordering extra, thank you, Alex, so we should have enough to build a system. Finally, even Finding water cooling components on wish.com was extremely difficult. Their SEO is terrible. You search for something as descriptive as G1 quarter fitting and you end up with clothing? Actually, no matter what you search for, it's mostly thongs, bongs, and that's just wrongs. That's a good line. Can you tell he's a professional writer? Thank you. And that's pretty much everything that was written. The rest is just a list of all the random crap we ordered. Well, do you want to just see like the kind of crap that comes up? Good video prep, Alex. Thank you. Is that a wearable breasts? Yeah, so this is a search for G1 quarter fittings, which is very descriptive and in the name of the fittings that we got. Like, I don't know what all of this does. And like, why is there just a high pressure fuel pump for a Sonata? Why is this here? Just <laughs> one left, order now, Alex. It's almost definitely not there. I don't even know how you found any water cooling. It was very difficult. There's not a single water cooling thing so far. Yeah, none. But there's a massage gun. That one's actually not a bad deal, assuming it works. Oh, is that a tube? No. <laughs> but yes, it was really difficult to find this stuff. Okay, where do we start? Do you even know what's inside these boxes? Yeah, I do. Uh, the case is where we should start. That's a case. Yeah. The WK500 schematic. Happy mining and keep believing. Believe.in. <laughs> yeah, so finding water cooling compatible cases was very difficult. So we ended up with a mining rig. Yeah, because this I know you can just like zip tie the stuff to and it should be fine. Our other option was like a Define 7 for 500 bucks, but I just didn't want to do that. How much did I pay for this mining rig? Uh, $105 plus $16 in shipping. I've had worse. Yeah. Are there any instructions? Yeah, this is oh, the cool. schematic. So I'm pretty sure all the pieces are here. 10 screws to put it together. I think it's pretty easy. I got it snugged up over here. Look how far off this is. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not close. This is clearly like CNC machined. How did they even do it that bad? I'm gonna snug that baby in there. Oh yeah, repaired. Oh yeah. Not bad. Okay, with this next part, you're gonna see kind of the vision for this. So this right here is our radiator. Ooh, that I like. It's Quad a four, rad. Yep, 480. It should be copper. This might actually not be a bad deal. So this was $78 plus $16 in shipping. Oh my God though. It's very crooked. Put it flat on the table, you can probably seesaw it. <laughs> now that I've got the main pieces screwed into, the tolerance has actually seemed not bad. Um, what you could do is you could mount the fans first, which would give us an opportunity to open up this Cool Moon R4 RGB fan pack. Hell yeah. I gotta say, I don't really know what to expect here, Alex. Hydraulic bearings. Wow. Hydraulics. I'm actually pretty disappointed. Our first fans that we were supposed to get got canceled. Oh, really? But they were 
What, did they make an off-color joke? No, they were RGB. Uh, <laughs> they were RGB, but there was just a green, a red, and a blue fan in there. <laughs> oh, these appear to be actual RGB. They come with a remote and everything. I got uh, some fan filters. I am taken way back to the early days of PC modding. UV blue <laughs> frickin' acrylic fan filters? Are you kidding me? Wow, this is just bits power. Yeah. So they covered the UPC. This may actually be a genuine bits power fan grill, but from like 10 years ago. Yeah. Crazy. And it's just been sitting as dead stock in a warehouse all this time. And now I have it. Great. <laughs> the weirdest thing about these is that they were called Bits power cooled PC fitting personal computer water reservoir sled tube compression rotary screw adapter extender expansion parts. I found them when I was looking for fittings. I paid $26 each, Alex? Yes. Why did you order so many? The thumbnail. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. This paper is so old. Oh, my God. It comes off in tiny pieces, Alex. Also, this UV blue acrylic seems to have lost a lot of its blue with age. <laughs> so we're going to be using our shunt modded 3090. I chose this card because one, I don't want to potentially screw up another 3090. And two, I made a custom VGA mounting bracket for this because I assume that even though our GPU block says it's universal, it's probably not gonna fit. Oh wait, how are we gonna plug in the IO for the graphics card? If you're planning to mount it here and have the radiator here. That's a good question. Because on a mining rig, they don't have IO. Well, shoot. Is there a reason we're using MATX? Uh, it's the board that I grabbed off the shelf. Not really. Okay, fair enough. I have a terrible idea that might fix all of our problems. Instead of, you know, mounting it right here, mm -hmm. we could just mount it right here. Oh. The IO comes out, and then we have a nice way for our tubes to come back around to our water cooling stuff. It's genius, actually. Thank you. I mean, it's still got like six whole screws into the radiator. That ought to be more than enough for anyone. Yeah, you only like two or three. I don't know what's worse, the fact that you think that's a good solution or the fact that I agree. <laughs> <laughs> if you push down, it looks like one of these screws is lining up. Okay. Yeah. There's a temperature readout built into our water block. This is from freezemod.com, RGB full color remote control components. That's pretty cool if it works at all. That was uh, $73. <sighs> That's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh right, we're gonna need thermal compounds. Now, we've got the biggest tube of thermal compound I think I've ever seen. But hey, at least it's high stability and reliability. Apply to CPU, VGA, LED chipset, and other PC components. I'm gonna put this all over my LEDs and my PC components here. Also, it says it has an excellent thermal conductivity of 3.05 watts per meter Kelvin. That's better than some thermal pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's very watery. Ugh. Hold on, it's maybe like a thermal it's thermal just... paste pre. Oh. oh. Okay. That's really gross. Yeah, <laughs> should be fine. This is the GPU block that we got. Now the listing says, perfectly fit the GPU, carry away more heat from GPU quickly. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, well, that doesn't fit at yeah, all. Yeah, it, it's not even close to fitting. I'm not surprised. Unfortunately, we do have a backup plan. Your backup plan I, always involves Well, I already made one of these for our other video to mount a VGA cooler to this card. So we're just repurposing it. Cool. Meanwhile, I'm trying to mount the CPU block and it comes with these like gnarly metal washers. You don't secure the backplate at all. You just plonk the block on and then the backplate is secured by just screwing it into it. Oh, so you could just like destroy your CPU by tightening it down too much. Uh, yeah, you could, you, could, you could mangle your board. You could mangle your board with this for sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> nice. I love that we went Trident Z Royal, by the way. Oh, you got to. Also, I see that you uh, started looking at our fittings. Yeah, they're terrible. They're terrible and we don't have enough. Why don't we have enough? Uh, because Wish is a terrible site. So I ordered 20 and oh they only charged us for five and we only got five. 
Right. But I took a screenshot of the cart and we, without a doubt, had 20 selected. Why five? Why would they come in packs <laughs> of five? Know. So I did bring over fittings from our warehouse, but like, if you tried to water cool from Wish, you'd just be screwed. What size are these? I think they're the same as the tubing. I haven't double checked it yet though. Okay, because both the tubing and the fittings said underneath, note, it can be plus minus three centimeters which means they can throw literally anything in, because this is what, 10 millimeters across? Yeah. One centimeter. Okay, you could literally end up with a fitting this big. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I would say that could come down to translation, but like SI measurements are sort of a thing internationally. Not my finest cable management here. <laughs> it's pretty not amazing. It's not the finest PC we've ever had. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, that kind of works, right? Oh, we have new cable ties on LTT store. Lots of different colors. And they come in oh. 50 packs now for the same price as 20 of the old ones. And they're the exact same quality. We do kind of have to figure out what we're gonna do about the GPU. No, you have to figure out what we're gonna do about the GPU. I am gonna keep opening Wish water cooling components. What the hell <laughs> did you order? It was AC. Yes. Oh, cool. What? Well, you know, we have our UV reactive fan grills, we need to be able to have some color. What makes you think these are UV? It said they are. It just says purple on the packaging. <laughs> no UV, IR, or radiation emission. What? I specifically bought these because they were UV lights. Oh my God. What am I even looking at here? Wait, what is happening right now? So this, because these have to be DC. So, uh -oh. oh, what the hell? So yeah, you just go AC straight into this. This says UV. They work. It does work. They're definitely UV. Okay. Okay, and my UV blue acrylic here is definitely UV blue. Awesome. Problems that aren't so easy to solve. What Our GPU cooling. Yeah. So You keep trying to drag me back into this gong yeah. show. <laughs> First of all, I bought this back plate, which says specifically that it's 3080 and 3090 compatible. Oh yeah. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Uh huh. These are a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> so I thought that these were going to be memory chip coolers. That's what they were called. <laughs> <laughs> they are not that. At least it was only 20 bucks plus 10 shipping. I mean, that'll keep something cool. Yeah. I think we can cool the back of our GPU with those. We had some people helpfully point out that this thermal schmoo, what's it called again? K5 Pro. K5 Pro is only really suitable for like up to a certain thickness. But realistically, what other choice do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we could also scrape most of this off get some thick thermal pads, put them on here. I am a little bit concerned about this shorting on these caps that are here. These appear to be covered in silicone. Though. Oh, is that dielectric grease? Yeah, it's dielectric grease. Uh, okay. How are we gonna get this schmoo off? I found that a guitar pick and patience works not too bad. Oh. This project is horrible. Yeah, that's literally the first thing I said in this video, Linus. I don't know what's worse, the fact that I've removed this much thermal goop or the fact that there's still this much on the card. <laughs> like if I just went toothbrush alcohol bath on this, would that? Uh, alcohol doesn't do anything, I tried. Really? Yeah. Oh. Our memory chip heat sinks are a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna make them touch smaller. Perfect. In other news, I'm making great progress on removing the K5 Pro. Not bad, it turns out if you add a little bit of friction and heat, it kind of flakes away. So this toothbrush is removing it actually really well. Now we can see if alcohol does anything because we've got little enough K5 on there that it might actually make a difference. Oh yeah, it helps. So you wanted to talk backplate mounting. Yeah, so I'm thinking backplate can just get zip tied on. These are the screws that mount our block and I feel like that they are higher. Oh, I forgot about this. You need to screw them in. Oh wow, these are threaded. 
They aren't threaded, it's just like the same size. Oh, I see. Well, they're threaded now. Yeah. <laughs> the head of this is a little bit higher than the memory chips. Yeah. So we do need thermal pads on here to just bring it up a bit. And then I think you can just zip tie this down and it'll be fine. We could also just screw straight through this and hard mount it. I love it. Probably break that and break that and break this. No, no, we with the thermal pads. We'll yeah, fine. thermal pads, okay, yeah. We got a plan. Let's mark it. Mark me, daddy. Well, it's really soft copper. Not that that really matters, but... Normally don't get holes quite that deep. <laughs> There it is. You don't you dare. You get that out of here now. Which way do you want our cool moon fans blowing? Into the red? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, 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 fan grills. Yep. I did think that those came with uh, mesh. Oh, they don't. They don't. <laughs> no. It's gonna involve bending the radiator and the fans a bit. <laughs> but it's on. One problem I observed with the uh, mid 2000s aesthetic <laughs> is that we're not going to be getting a lot of air. Oh, I didn't even uh, notice that yet. Oh, oh, come on. And also, how much airflow is actually getting through this fan here? This one. <laughs> like, it's going to be fine. Uh, you get almost all of your airflow, like right? Uh, that's, yeah, it's blocking a lot. Yeah, it's blocking a lot. <laughs> oh, sick. You got one of those double helix reservoirs? That's awesome! How much did I pay for this? Originally, I actually had a Helix one that was RGB that I was super stoked on. Oh, that's cool. But they canceled it. You know, I bought one of these from the original guy on Extreme Systems. He even did tubes down the middle, so you could actually have your UV uh, like cathode down the middle of the Helix. And I had a oh, frosted, damn. I had a frosted blue acrylic he double Helix. It was super cool. That was thirty dollars plus sixteen in shipping. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah, it's fine. Actually. I was thinking maybe like here or here. We could go sideways. It's not the best for bleeding air out of the loop. I was also really tempted to just buy a bong and use that as the reservoir because there's just so many more of them. <laughs> that moment when you expense a bong to work. <laughs> We're going for it. We're going top mount. I don't care if it's gonna bleed worse. Watch this, you're gonna love my nuts. What's better than a double helix reservoir? A double helix reservoir on stilts. Boom. <laughs> Hell yeah. I still haven't found a pump. Oh God, is this it? So it comes with suction cups for mounting because it's obviously an aquarium pump. But then they include one of these double-sided foam jobbies as though the suction cups are gonna, oh, it does stick to it. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I wasn't expecting that. Me neither. Touche, wish.com. Touche. I'm kind of thinking, I want this flow meter, like, right attached to the reservoir. What do you think of that? Sure, that looks sweet. Right? Alex, this is absolutely crap tier two then. It's so stiff. Including shipping, it was $30 a roll also. $30 a roll? You know, when Yvonne hounds me about waste from the writing department, I defend you people. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Ow! Oh, I pinched my boob. What? With the, <laughs> the back end. Oh. Oh. Ow! Boy, did that ever hurt. That's a nice clean cut though. Poor Alex has been working over on the other side of the table. I have almost taken it out multiple times. Here's a nice little pro water cooling tip. If you have a choice with your radiator on your side, you want the inlet to be at the bottom because that way the water will push the air out the top. It makes bleeding a lot faster. Wow, that motherboard is bowed AF. I probably over tightened the CPU block. Check it out. Oh yeah, oh, geez. Oh. Have you given any updates uh, on the GPU lately? We're almost done. Heck yeah. And it goes this way? Other way. It looks kind of sick. Yeah, the other side looks pretty sick as well. Functional. Whoa, hey, okay, sure. Oh my God. Not a fan of what you're doing right now. It's not like threaded threaded. 
Why do people even watch this? It's because you can't look away, isn't it? There's a good chance we need to put in our fittings before this gets attached. I also yeah. just realized that this is really small at 90 degrees for some reason, so we might. Mm. Yeah, this is a big die. We don't necessarily want that mounted at a diagonal like that, seeing like it's yeah. like that. With that in mind, I guess this is what we want in terms of tubes coming off. Sure. Everything outlined in gold has got to go. Aluminum dust is very bad for you. So if you are going to grind it, first of all, make sure that you have a grinding wheel that's okay for aluminum or it might explode. You know, put on a face shield, put on a mask. It's a huge pain in the butt, but we're gonna do it. You know what the funny part is, is in my bag of tricks, I already had solutions to all these problems. Low profile, memory sinks, ones I had actually bent from tubes getting in the way before many years ago. But we have to use these, so this is what we ended up with. <laughs> oh! What, 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 what? We haven't put on our RGB tube sleeving. Oh my God. That's a Cooler Master product. That's not even yeah. Wish stuff. Well, on Wish, they didn't say it was Cooler Master, but it is. It might be because if they told you that it was Cooler Master, it would be really easy to go and just buy it somewhere else for way cheaper. Yeah. So on Amazon.com, it's $60. On Wish.com, it was 95 Oh, really? Actually, we didn't pay for this. Oh, really? We saw it on Wish and we were like, Cooler Master already sent us this. It's really stupid to just buy it again. Thanks, Alex. For the rest of this project, you were entirely merciless, so it wouldn't <laughs> have surprised me if you had bought it. Oh, it's like tubing sleeving. Yeah. It's RGB. Yeah. That's really dumb. <laughs> it is really dumb, Brandon. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, we don't even know if this is non-conductive, actually. It actually looks like poop. <laughs> that GPU is definitely just like, kill me please. But we won't do it because it's a 3090. <laughs> now after our shunt mod video for this 3090, people were like, oh yeah, it's Linus Tech Tips. They can just get a 3090 whenever they want. We also can't get them. Yeah. We got a couple new editors. They took our last ones. Uh, we haven't been able to get a 3090 for quite a while. There's a shortage, ladies and gentlemen. It's yep. real. <laughs> Confirmed. Okay, holy This is awful. Wish.com, this is, there's your thumbnail. Yeah, there's the thumbnail. Oh, that's clean. I was Boom. hoping that one work. Yeah, right? This is a moment in computing history, the way that I see it. It truly is. I thought we had reached peak meme build, but this proves it. We weren't even close. This is next level. This is the Lord of the memes. Two more things. Oh, this, um, oh my God. Uh, I don't know, like there or something could work. Hey, what about you get it leak testing and I'll hey. use $20 of VHB tape to attach it. How are we doing so far here, buds? Okay, well one thing, what about we move my laptop away from where you're spilling water? Oh yeah, your laptop could move. Okay, not huh. gonna lie, that flow meter is kind of cool. Look at it go. I don't know that I would add four more points of failure to my loop over it, but like, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's sweet. pretty cool. These fans out front, I don't even know if we need the UV. I know, right? <laughs> that looks amazing. I haven't even seen this yet. <laughs> it's like a party and every color in the rainbow is invited. Oh, she works. <gasps> the operation was a success. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Do we have our SSD? Nice! Oh my God. Also CPU is at 24 degrees. It's pretty good. Well, it's got a quad rat on it, right? Yeah. This is awesome. I am, I am just jazzed right now. System's working great. But before that, I just want to talk about this guy for a second. So to combine these together, they gave us this. <laughs> yeah, I showed the camera that earlier. Yeah, it's terrifying. And it made me think. Um, it's to combine them? is to combine them. That's so, so stupid. So look at this. 
It's not AC, is it? Is it AC? There's 120 volts AC, just right here. Just, just exposed. If you stuck your pinky in there, you'd be electrocuted. Just, Are you just right there. Are you serious, <laughs> mate? So my solution for mounting these is uh, putting it straight in the garbage. That's terrifying. Well, the e-waste bin, we're gonna take it out of there and put it in our e-waste bin, but yes. <laughs> wow, just has exposed ass freaking AC just yep. right there. 120 volt. That is unbelievable. And then that's why it comes with these, so you can <laughs> Frickin' just frickin' they're not plugged in. Okay, so you could just twist them together. <laughs> yeah. Geniuses. Tynan from Engineering Creator Worlds. <laughs> Who's that? I didn't think it was that bad. Unreal. Okay, but the rest of the system. The rest of it's great. Is sick, right? Yeah. So I ran Time Spy, and temps are awesome. So GPU core, 63 degrees max. Frickin' awesome. A. Memory did get up to 100 degrees. Yeah. But that's acceptable. It goes up to 120, like who cares? Yeah. CPU, max temperature 80 degrees. And you doubted the memory cooling solution. It's 100 degrees, it's not great. But, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome. Sorry, what our CPU end up at? 80 degrees. 4.9 gigahertz, all cores, Woo. That's not bad at all. Yeah. This is like actually acceptable. Yeah. Ow, I mean, it costs too much. We could have spent half as much to get better performance, but- We could have spent a 10th on AliExpress for basically the same thing. Minor details, minor <laughs> details, Alex. Oh, and we do have control of the RGB on the fans. It's IR. Also fan speeds on there, which is also IR for some reason. Oh, okay. But at and, least it has- And the music works. So put it on like music Does mode it really? There. I guess I could sing my own song. Hi, I am singing. This is flashing with my beats. I. I'll never walk on the streets late at night because I'm small and people could mug me, but they don't thug me. I... What are you doing? It's doing something. Yes, yeah, it's definitely <laughs> doing something confirmed. <laughs> How did this compare to a typical 3090 score? So is it actually adequately cooled with the shunt mod? Yeah, average score 18. Oh, so we're actually in like really yeah. good shape then. We're like a thousand points higher than this typically would be. Pretty That's good. Fucking awesome. Just like our sponsor. MSI's MEG Z690 series is a great fit for your 12th gen Intel processor. There's both the Torpedo, which supports DDR5 memory, and the Tomahawk, which supports DDR4. Both motherboards have an extended heatsink design with an M.2 thermal solution for their quad M.2 connectors, and feature PCI Express Gen 5 to get the most out of future M.2 SSDs, as well as future graphics cards. They've both got Wi-Fi and 2.5 gig LAN, and you can learn more about the Tomahawk and Torpedo MSI Z690 series motherboards boards at the link down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy our AliExpress PC. Or our other Wish one. Yeah, or the other Wish one. That one has enough views. <laughs>